mask free and receive our legendary refining face mask free if you call right now. You heard it. Be one of the first callers. Call 1-800-489-1374. That's 1-800-489-1374. For over 35 years, Lucas and Llewellyn's estate-grown sustainable vineyards have grown the grapes that produce some of the finest wines in Santa Barbara County. Enjoy their remarkable wines of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet, Malbec, and Viognier. The Lucas and Llewellyn Wine Club offers generous discounts to members as well as fabulous wine country events. Experience the bounty of Santa Barbara County's wine region and become part of the Lucas and Llewellyn family. Visit our beautiful tasting room located at 1645 Copenhagen Drive in Solvang, California. Visit us on the web at at www.llwine.com Lucas and the Welland Vineyards Come to quality Come to luxury Relax at the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center in Santa Rosa, California Experience our newly renovated guest rooms generously sized and decorated in the Tuscan tradition The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi internet access flat panel televisions Sealy pillow top mattresses with luxurious linens and downfill comforters, warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar, the ideal place to relax and enjoy. The Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center is located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country, easily located in Santa Rosa at 101 Fountain Grove Parkway. Call 707-578-6101, 707-578-6101, or visit us on the web at www.fountaingroveinn.com. Good people over at the Fountain Grove Inn. That's up at uh, Santa Rosa, California. I want to go there. I've heard good things about it. Excellent place. And, of course, that is the location for the What's Cooking on Wine Sonoma Report, hosted by our very own Larry Van Alst. That's heard on most of these cable affiliates and radio stations, too. Which is a great show. I, I always get sucked in when I listen to it because it's he's really interesting in the guests that he gets. He'll get people, not just winemakers, but he'll get the guys who tend to the fields and, and who, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna. Oh no, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna. If you also listen to the show, also Larry Van Alst sounds a lot like Mike Huckabee. If you listen to the two side by side, very similar voices. Why would you do that? But talking <laughs> about Mike Huckabee, which very few people do, that, isn't, that the, oh. isn't that the worst program on Fox? I mean, how much more time do they got to give that program? I like Huckabee. That come on, it's <laughs> it it is awful. It is. All his full. idea of a flat tax, get rid of the IRS, is I'm not genius. Talking about, I'm not talking about the man under his political opinions. I'm talking about the show that's on Fox. Well, the, on man the, Fox plays, the man channel. plays guitar on the show. He plays bass guitar. There's and that, wrong and, with, yeah. and he wears a suit whenever he plays. We're going into break. Yeah, it just no that, that program. <laughs> that's how and bass guitar sounds. Have Loring, <laughs> Loring <laughs> Green on the keyboards, which is also kind of bizarre in its own right as well. <laughs> You ever notice that? Is Lauren he playing banjo? <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. No, they have Lauren Green on the keyboard, and she's like one of the Fox News anchor women. And then they got the... Uh, oh, that's right. He puts together like a band of... Bah, 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 what does he call them? The Little Rockers? I think that's what he calls them, the Little Rockers. And it's just awful. I mean, when when the, the song they do at the end of the show, the corny song they perform, is better than the show itself, then the show just stinks. I mean, somebody throw them a life preserver and just get it out. They do what they like to do, Paul. They have fun doing what they want to do. And speaking of having fun, do you ever have inner office pranks? Uh, we have had inner office pranks. We do pranks stuff from around time here. To time. Yeah. Sure. The you whoopee check out cushion, our, the hot foot. Maybe check out our YouTube classics. videos. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Or, you know, um, sure. I, I know one time we tried to get Tomas a date from Craigslist. You do fun stuff like that. It didn't work out. No, it didn't. He was, was not his, very what receptive. Was, no. What was his name? I knew there was Tomas. <laughs> No, we tried to. We put an ad out for him. He didn't, unbeknownst to him. Oh, did you? On really, Craigslist. Come on, why do you do that? To, you know, Tomas is. We were just putting it out there. We not a, very, he doesn't like those kind of games. Come we on. wrote a very nice ad. I'm sure. I, you it's know a what? Very nice but lady. He's not a lady tell, already. Well, this was back in the day. Oh, this yeah, but it was like, that's like an office prank you would do, right? Yeah. Depending on your field. We work in radio. We do pranks like that. Anyway, so speaking of. Anybody respond? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Speaking of inner office pranks. Whoa. An officer. I'll make one for you later, Paul. We'll get you some. <laughs> see what kind of response we get. No, it's okay. <laughs> wow. A, a police officer. They will mention latex, by the way. Okay, but if you're okay. a police officer, what kind of uh, pranks do you pull? An officer actually stunned another police officer. Yeah, police officers, I think, are known to kind of be like aficionados when it comes to the office prank. Except you shouldn't use 
deadly <laughs> force in your office pranks. Yeah, <laughs> usually they just like will like take somebody's like I don't know their their lunch or their, 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 their you know their breakfast or their meal and and put some kind of uh, softener. Oh, uh, you give them the Chan Ho Park. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, like like you know you know one of those right, kind yeah. of a deal. So that's kind of that kind of is a good way to yuck it that's up in the a, locker room. That's a fine office but prank. The best part about this prank though is it's caught on film. Oh, oh, so the security video? cameras inside the the, the oh. uh, jail was this caught on film. This, this could get ugly. Though. Oh, it, it they've already been oh. suspended. Suspended, or? yeah. But what I guess what happened was one of the officers was showing another officer, a male officer, 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 a male officer, officer was showing a female officer some kind of video on his phone or something, and she said something, which they said that it, w it was not any kind of harsh. I mean, it was just a prank. This is right. totally. She said okay. something funny. He wanted to get her back, so he pulled out his stun gun. She started running, and he stunned her in the behind. And you could see, like, when she actually oh, got stunned, he her whole... He stunned a female officer? Yes. And then, but the best part, though, is he stunned her in front of three other officers that all just sat there and watched. One guy actually went and put his hands over his mouth like, oh, Sounds my like God, the what are they King doing? Beating. Wow. But, uh, <laughs> just, that was not an office break. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just Last around. time I checked, Rodney oh, no. King didn't work with those cops. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, a bunch you of people standing around watching somebody get right. stunned. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> the Human Resources Department is taking this very seriously. Oh, I'm sure they oh, are. Oh, okay. you can't do that. Especially because it was caught on film. I hate film. to say this, but the, uh, po the, the police department isn't exactly a place on games. I mean, this is like ser that's a, about as serious as it gets. Only during right. Christmas. And this was the jails. This was like in this their, was in the, like yeah. 50 feet away from the, the actual inmates. Inmates just watching. <laughs> Another male officer stuns a female officer with the taser. Yeah, that is not funny. I'm actually getting kind of concerned about it. Why, is she yeah. okay? She's fine. No, she she's like turned around. She, you can actually see her scream at the guy like, "Why'd you do that?" Oh, I can't believe. This. But, I can't believe this. I, a I, I, and, wait a sec. Wait a second. If she could get stunned and then turn around and say, "Why did you do that?" Well, it I wasn't mean, that much of a. St okay. I mean, he really didn't put a lot of force I mean, into stunning it her. It wasn't the kind with the darts. It's the kind. No, of it was just you, you just had to touch it, right. and so maybe he was a couple inches away from her. We did so that to a, a coworker jolt. once, but he, uh, with his approval, we got oh, okay. one of those things. We stunned him because he claimed he was tough. Oh, and it, wait a second. It, Who was the guy that was on CNN, the news anchor? Oh boy, I can't remember his name now. Aaron Co Anderson Cooper? No, not Anderson Cooper. To the guy, the other guy, good looking Wolf Blitzer. Young, no, not Wolf Blitzer. One of the younger. One of the younger. Uh, Wolf Blitzer. No, no, one of the younger. The good looking guys. one. No, like no, Wolf Blitzer. No, 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 no. Come on, hey, Lou I'm, Dobbs. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but one of one, they they do that. They do now the testing. They actually sexy. will ask somebody to tase them so then they can then report on what it's like to be tased. And then there's a YouTube video following that saying, "Don't tase me, bro." Yeah, don't tase me, bro. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm gonna go on and I'll have to look it up. All right, you look it up, but. I, we tased a coworker and he went down like a, a ton of bricks. With oh. press, but you, we pressed it hard against his neck. Oh, on the neck? Yeah. I oh. can't. Oh, that's terrible. The that's back terrible. of his neck. I wonder what the worst, like the best place to be stunned is, like where it won't cause as much, you know, craziness. I got, yeah. a, I, I, I got an idea. I'm assuming the yeah, neck is too. pretty. Well, yeah, I'm assuming the neck is pretty sensitive though. Right. So well, that's where you always see them kind of go into that that area when they. I would go like the stomach area. No, I would rather I'd rather get it in the behind like your cop. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best place to get tased. A little padding. I don't know. Let's try it out. All right. After we after we quote uh, quote Paul and Latex, we'll tase each other <laughs> and, and get them a Craigslist. Yeah, I, I, we'll find somebody on Craigslist to quote them in Latex. <laughs> there you go. Hey, when we come back, are we going to be joined by Barry Farber today? On I the hope program? so. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Does your furnace need repair, your house need cleaning, or maybe you're ready to update your kitchen? Big or small, whatever your home improvement need, now it's easy to find the right home pro for your project. Log on to redo.servicemagic.com.